All right, so we left off yesterday with this move, king to g3. Now, black played the move g5 here, which was a little bit crazy. The best move would have been a3. And after g5, pawn takes, knight takes, queen check. And black does have a perpetual check here. In fact, this attack is now so strong that black's a pawn is not really, it's not really enough to win. And it's amazing how Lasker did that. I mean, let's just go back a few moves and look at this position. Like, really? Like, this is an attack that white has? h4, g4, h5, g5? It's just strange. You don't see an attack like this very often. But do note that this knight on c7 is quite clunky. It's very poorly placed, and it, make, it, it can't really get into the game in any effective way, and that's probably one thing that really hurt black. But alright, so he went g4 and then king to g3. And now black continued with g5, trying to stop the attack in a more direct way. Uh, this was not a good choice. After pawn takes, pawn takes, queen check, king f7, g5. All of a sudden, it's white who has the initiative. Because if, if we're threatening queen f6, followed by queen takes g6, and if pawn takes, oops, sorry, knight takes, this is just checkmate. I mean, it's a little tricky, but it's checkmate. So instead, black played h5. Instead of pawn takes pawn, queen d7, king f8, and now, <laughs> very bad news for black. The pawn, which was his prized jewel in this position, is gone. And he is in suddenly some trouble. White has the initiative here. Black played the move h4, which was a mistake. Black should get the queen to f5 as soon as possible. Queen b1 to f5. And black is like slightly worse in this position. Instead he played h4, which is a trick move. The idea is if knight takes, queen g5. And if king takes, queen f4. But it's actually just a bad move, because after king g4, this pawn is always a weakness, and knight takes h4 is going to be very strong in some positions. Ah, uh, sorry. King g4. So queen h1 was played with the idea of maybe queen g2, but it actually doesn't do anything. Black has no real clear threat here. And after queen to d7, um, knight, queen check, king f4, knight to e8. White just took this, and all of a sudden, Black's position is falling apart. Queen takes f2, queen takes g6, check, king e3, queen to g4, e6, knight to d6. So this is your last quiz from this game. Black to move, what move would, I'm sorry, white to move, what move would you play here? All right, this is a tricky moment. Um, and a lot of people make the wrong choice. Why do they make the wrong choice? Well, you know, it looks easy. Uh, it, it looks like White's just winning simply with the move e7. Almost everyone suggests this move for some reason, including me. When I saw the game, I thought this was a winning move, and I just wanted to play it. I didn't want to think anymore. And this is where Lasker's rule, when you see a good move, look for a better one, is really important. Because e7 throws away the win. Uh, and I bet a lot of you guys wanted to play this move. You can admit it. Don't worry. A lot of people fall for this. We go queen check, and the whole idea is now king d7, knight e5. So it looks like just a simple tactic that wins the game. The problem is king e8. After queen check, queen e4 check. King f2, queen c2 we have a very unfortunate perpetual check. There is no way out of these checks. If king g1, queen d1. King g2, queen, this one's easy. Um, and yeah, this position is basically like a draw, I think. Um, we just have some checks forever. And, and there's just no way out of the checks. I mean, if king e1, queen back to e4. You have to go back to f2. If king f1, I assume queen f3. If king f2, queen back to c2. And you'll just see, if you look at it, that it's just a perpetual check. So e7 is a serious blunder, a serious mistake that throws away the win. And it's really unfortunate because our win is so easy here. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to sacrifice any pawns. 
we can just play queen f6 check. Um, I mean, that's what happened in the game. Queen f6, whoa, sorry. King to e8, uh, and if, if king to g8, just check and take the knight. But after king e8, queen h6, queen h8, queen g7. And now things are things are much clearer, because if the king comes back, queen d7 wins. And now we win the queen by force, knight e7. So the thing here is, you had to just not be tempted by this e6, e7 move. It's very tempting. Um, a lot of people fall for it and play that move. But, you know, it, just the simple check wins the game. And that's what Lasker did. And he won from this unbelievable position where, I mean, it just looks so stupid. And objectively, Black was winning if he played correctly. But in reality, he had real, real decent... He found a way to really get some good drawing chances. And not only did he draw, he won the game. I just, like, couldn't believe it when I saw this game. And again, this is why Tarash included a luck meter at the end of this book. Games like this obviously drove Tarash crazy, because Tarash wanted to think he was better than Lasker and could beat him. And when he saw games like this, he was like, okay, I mean, Lasker wins, but okay, he's losing every game. And somehow by, like, you know, some miracle, <laughs> he ends up winning them. Uh, but in reality, Lasker was a very strong player, and this was just one of his strengths, um, saving bad positions. Honestly, though, I, I think it just a lot of it happened in one tournament, and I think it really built a reputation for him. In future tournaments, I don't see quite as much of this, but in this tournament, game after game after game, he had ugly, horrible position and just found a way to win. And there will be more. Don't you worry. So thanks guys for watching, and this was my favorite of the games, because it's just like so stupid, look at the position, Black's just up a pawn, um, and it's a pass pawn, like about to become a queen, and he just goes h4, g4, h5, g5, and checkmates him, it's like, it's just weird, it doesn't seem like there should be any serious attack here, but there was, so the game, the game made a, quite an impression on me, see you guys next time, bye bye.